In today's Q&A video, I'm gonna go over how to calm your nerves before a big game. Hey, it's Zach, head coach here at 24-7 Hockey. And I wanna talk about how to calm your nerves before a game, and this is a question I get a lot. The first thing I want you to think about when it comes to calming your nerves before a game is that you have to decide if it's nervous because you didn't prepare properly, or if it's that nervous just of the excitement of playing a big game, because there's a big difference there, okay? So are you nervous because you didn't prepare properly and you're not ready and you're worried you're gonna make mistakes, or are you nervous just because you're excited, you're ready to go and it's a big game? Because a little bit of nerves is actually okay. A little bit of excitement is actually okay. Just that nervous feeling. But then as you get closer and closer to the game, you do want to try to even it out a little bit so that you're not going into the game holding your stick too tight and panicking. So that's what we'll go over. We'll go over some tactics on how to make sure that you're kind of more even keel as you get closer and closer to the game. So the first tactic is obviously preparation. The more preparation you do during the week, okay eating the right way getting enough sleep spending time on your off-ice training doing your visualization exercises studying game film being ready to go for practice all of those things add up okay and it compounds too so week after week after week you're gonna be less nervous because what happens is you're more prepared for the game, you're playing better in practices. If you're playing better in practices, you're gonna feel more confident going into the game. If you feel more confident going into the games, you're not gonna be quite as nervous. And if you perform better in the games because you're not as nervous, now going into the next week, you're gonna have even that much more confidence as you're going through that same routine. So every single week, every single day, just breaking down that preparation on all those little details that you're doing throughout the week really adds up. A second thing that you can do is actually breaking down two or three areas that you're really focused on improving that game and you really want to perform well. There's always one or two things that players are working on. Don't have eight or ten different things, okay? Have a couple specific things that you know that you want to perform well that game and then track those things, okay? What could that be, all right? Maybe for defensemen it's making good breakout passes or getting pucks to the net, all right? Maybe for forwards, you, you know, you want to move, the, move with speed through the neutral zone or not turn the puck over in the neutral zone or attack the net out of the corner, whatever those things may be, all right? Have two or three of those, really think about those, work on those all week, and then leading up to the game, visualize yourself doing those the right way. So leading up to that game, I want you to spend 10 minutes, you know, the night before or a couple nights before and just think about yourself actually doing those situations the right way. Picture yourself in the game, doing them the right way, making the plays that you want to make. Picture the other team's jersey so that you're actually putting yourself in that situation. It's a very powerful tool, okay? So I have two or three things that you want to work on. I want you to work on them all week in practice. I want you to visualize yourself doing them and then know going into the game that you're going to actually execute the right way. So use those tactics by breaking down a couple situations, not having 10 or 15 things that you want to work on, but two specific things or three specific things that you want to perform well on, and then actually visualizing them so that you go into that game, you're ready, and you're going to execute. Third thing, spend some time stick handling off the ice before the game and even after your practices, maybe the day or two before the game. So get to the rink early, spend some time going through the skills, or maybe get up a little bit early and spend some time working on your skills, working on your habits. Again, maybe these can relate to those first couple points and those first couple goals that you set for yourself for that game in different situations that you're working on. Go, the, go through those situations with a puck off the ice a few times. Go through some, some of the different skills that you're gonna need to have. But just warming up your hands, warming up your legs, not sleeping in, getting up early, Early, doing that a couple times throughout the day, you're gonna feel that much more confident with the puck. You're gonna step on the ice. That's not the first time you touched a puck that day. Okay, there's a lot, there's a reason why NHL teams do a pregame skate a lot of times, okay? Because they wanna get out on the ice early, they wanna get their legs moving, they wanna get their blood pumping, they wanna to touch that puck a few times, and that's gonna make the players feel more confident and more prepared going into the game. So you do that, simulate that pregame skate for yourself. Well, if you don't have access to a pregame skate, if your team doesn't do a pregame skate, if you're not playing in the NHL, well then come up with your own way to do your pregame skate. Find some time in the morning to, you know, 
do handle the puck in the garage, go through some of your own drills in the garage, get to the rink early and do some stuff, you know, an hour or two early before the game. And that's your way of now getting in the right mindset, getting some of those nerves out a little bit earlier and going through those motions are gonna just help you build more confidence and help you handle that puck and feel more confident with that puck on your stick leading up to the game. All right, the fourth thing and the last thing, keep things simple in the beginning of the game, okay? A lot of times those nerves can carry over into the beginning of that game. And so if you're trying to do too much, if you're trying to force plays, and you make mistakes, that's gonna to start to compound and you're gonna build negative momentum, okay? Meaning that maybe the coach then gets pissed at you. You make a couple mistakes, maybe you're hard on yourself, all right? What I'd rather see players do is those first couple shifts, keep things simple. If you have a chance to shoot the puck, get a good quality shot on net, okay? If you, you know, finish some checks, if you're under pressure, make a simple play, make easy plays. Don't make things really complicated in those first couple shifts because you don't want to make, you don't want to turn the puck over. You don't want to start getting the momentum the wrong way. Get your legs going in the game. Get your head in the game a little bit. Make simple plays, make simple passes. Okay, get the puck, move the puck. And that's going to just allow you to get that positive momentum. And then as that momentum builds, you're going to feel more and more confident to start making better and better plays as the game goes on. So keep things simple right away. You don't want to start the game and have a little bit of those nerves and trying to do too much, trying to stick handle through guys, overhandling the puck, turning the puck over and making these mistakes. That's now within the first couple shifts, the game's going the completely wrong way for you and mentally you're gonna be out of it a little bit, okay? Make good plays, build on that momentum as the game goes on. So keep things simple early in the game. All right, I hope this video helped you with a few tactics on how you can calm those nerves and perform better in big games. Okay, if this video did help you, why don't you subscribe to our YouTube channel, give this video a thumbs up, okay? Also, if you want more training, more tactics, more workouts to become an elite hockey player, head over to freehockeyworkout.com. Okay, just freehockeyworkout.com. You'll be able to sign up for a free account, get free training, free workouts, and everything you need to take your game to the next level and reach your goals as a hockey player.